British Prime Minister David Cameron says the UK will do everything it can to track down Jihadi John, the man behind the ISIS mask in the notorious execution videos widely identified yesterday as Mohammed Mwazi from London. Jeff Semple is in fact in the very neighborhood where he last lived and the comments from David Cameron, Jeff, speak to the concern about did British intelligence services let Mwazi slip through their surveillance? Well, that's right, Heather, and British Prime Minister David Cameron rushing to the defense of this country's security personnel, facing criticism, headlines like this one on the front page of the Daily Telegraph, MI5 uh, blunders allowed Jihadi John to slip through the net. It is believed that security officials were aware of Mohammed Mwazi for several years before he fled to Syria. It's believed he grew up right here in this West London neighborhood. His house, in fact, just behind me where his parents still live, it's believed. Uh, a well-to-do family by all accounts. And there was growing speculation that Mwazi might have become rad radicalized during his time studying at the University of Westminster. He graduated from there in 2009, around the same time that police believe he had planned to try and travel to Africa to join the militant group Al Shabab. We're hearing reports that, in fact, security officials in this country had contacted Mwazi about a dozen times over the last few years, including trying to turn him into an informant for them. But he refused, was placed onto a terror watch list. But despite that increased security, somehow still managed to slip out of this country and into Syria, becoming now one of the world's most wanted men, Heather. Jeff, we think of those uh barbaric execution videos and the hostages ISIS held, uh, the families of those people killed, the victims there, have they reacted at all to the release of uh, this man's identity? Yeah, we've heard from a number of them, in fact, over the last 24 hours, including the widow of David Haynes. You'll remember the British aid worker, the second person to be executed in one of those brutal videos released by ISIS. Uh, we've heard from his widow saying that when she heard the news yesterday about the uh, killer's identity, it was the same feeling as she felt when she heard the news that her husband had died, and she hopes that the killer will be brought to justice. Have a listen to her speaking in a phone interview a little while ago. I hope he will be caught alive. Uh, I think that's the only moral satisfaction for the families of all the people uh, that um, he murdered. Uh, because uh, if he gets killed in, in the action, to put it that way, it will be an honorable death for him. And uh, that is the last thing I would actually want for someone like him. Now, she says she hopes that the fact that his identity is now known will help lead to his capture. But as we know and have been reporting, Heather, security officials have been aware of his true identity for many months now, and we've not heard any reports about any new leads as to his whereabouts.